Hello and welcome to Community Connections. My name is Addison Davis, Superintendent of Schools. This month in December, we'll talk about having healthy holidays and making he healthy holiday choices through our time with our families, our friends, and our loved ones. Today, I have the opportunity to have a number of practitioners with us to talk about nutrition, to talk about choices, to talk about wellness, and then we'll have a student that will come on for the first time to talk about he healthy holiday delights that we will implement within this time. So today, I have, health, I have Trish Hunter, Trish Hunter is a mental health specialist within our school district. Trish, we talk about how we, this is a time we should spend with our family, our loved ones, and also our friends. But however, we know that stresses can really be evident within the holidays. Can you talk about some of these stresses and what uh, potential strategies that we can take on in order to eliminate stresses within, the, within this time? Well, I mean, <clears throat> one of the biggest stresses during this time is, you know, grief and loss. Um, um, you know, like you said, you, you mentioned before, um, holiday shopping, um, family. One of the biggest things is to, to make sure people understand is try to connect. Um, there has been research done that families that do family dinners, sit down and have family dinners, have lower rates of depression, of substance abuse use in, the, in their children, anxiety, all those types of things. So when people are out and doing their holiday thing, make sure you're connecting with your family and communicating. That's one of the biggest things. Awesome. I, I totally agree. We've got to do a better job with connecting with our families, making sure we spend time with them. Mm -hmm. We see that stressors can be impacted through our, our balance of work and life, yes. that we find time to go to right. um, to special events. We have so many, we have find time to go to shopping, so mm -hmm. many things that can indicate to our stressors. Mm -hmm. Clay County is known as a, uh, a, a military family community. And in this time, we may have some stress to do with the fact that some of our family members may not be able to spend the holidays with us. Uh, from that side, is there anything from, from your perspective that, that our community and our viewers may be able to implement to ensure that we fill those voids to have to strengthen our families uh, within this time when we have, may not have all of our family members with us? Believe it or not, military families and students are very resilient and they are very adaptive. But you know what they appreciate the most is what I hear is sensitivity sensitivity to their feelings and their emotions and and just how it is right now. Um, I hear that. I just was talking to a student and a family today. It's like they just need someone to try, try to fill their shoes, like put yourself in their shoes and have empathy. Right. So this is sensitivity is one of the biggest things. Awesome. And then, you know, you're, you have the luxury of being in schools, you know, the majority of your school day. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have some of our students that, uh, that are, are connected to these military families and have these voids. Are there some strategies that you're, that you're using to help our students cope with, uh, with one of their families or friends and their loved ones not being with them during the holidays? Yes. One of the main things, like I said, they're really, most of them are thriving anyway. Right. But um, one of the things is, it's just reminding others. Um, the sensitivity plays a role in that. And just being there, being, being there to listen, being there to understand, um, being there to encourage and help them push forward. Right. Um, I've, I've noticed that a lot myself in my own family with military families that, that I have in my, my group, my surroundings is that they just need someone to just understand where they are now, help them push through, but they'll be fine. Awesome, and uh, you know, I will tell you, for all the viewers who are out there and, you're, and your family is a military family, we are here to help, assist and help in every way that we can. If you have a learner that's at your home and they have some type of void or, or they're having a, you know, some, some stress with not having one of their, their family members with them, send them to us. We have a number of uh, counselors and therapists that are on site and, and teachers that can help them through this process to ensure that they have a time that's filled with joy and cheer during the holidays. Yes. Uh, last thing, is there anything, any advice that you want to give any of our viewers, community members, uh, last, last tips about uh, eliminating stressors or, you know, within, the, within this time so they can really enjoy and let their hair down with the holidays? Yes, one thing is we have to remember that stress is the way we react to things, not the things themselves. So let's monitor the way we react to those things. Take a deep breath. That's right. Take always. many deep breaths <laughs> if you need to, and then head on for it. And then it's going to be fine. Awesome. Well, well, thank you so very much. <laughs> and thank you for what you do every single day. Also, we have Ms. Susan Glover, who is a director of our food and nutrition food services within Clay County. Does an absolutely you know, phenomenal job within our school district. You know, holiday treats are healthy holiday treats are very seldom you know, uh, present or an option during the holidays. And we talk about, from a practitioner standpoint, families, you know, how do we remain nutritionally balanced during the holidays? 
Well, eating healthy throughout the year is definitely important, but as we know, the, um, the holidays are challenging in that regard, so it's important to incorporate moderation and not overindulge. Um, in planning your holiday meals, it's important to include fresh fruits and vegetables that um, often contain fiber and can help you feel fuller longer. Um, there are a lot of things that we can do to incorporate some different ingredients into our traditional recipes, like using Greek yogurt in place of mayonnaise. And our baked items, we can use um, unsweetened applesauce in place of some of our oils. Um, one of the things I like to do is to cook cauliflower and puree it and put it in mashed potatoes. And these are great, great ways to be able to reduce calories and fat. Um, also, getting plenty of exercise and uh, making sure that you're really having your normal routine. Uh, breakfast is a, a great way to start the day and um, just you know, looking at, at every way that you can to ensure that you're maintaining your health over the holidays. Right, right. so uh, you know, n nutrition has to be a priority for, for all of us. It's just a way that we, we create not only physical and structural health, but we also have mental health as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll tell you this time of the year that, um, you know, my wife and my mom, they spend a number of countless hours within, within the kitchen every single day. I try to go in there and disrupt them, but they love it. Uh, this is that time of the year they truly love it. Sure. Uh, you know, so I any other, uh, you know, tips or any special recipes or, that, or anything you want to talk about that's related to something that may be your favorite during this time of year for the holidays? I always like to include things that are easy for my um, children to eat. I'm also a mother of two boys, so I try to always have baby care it's out. One of the things that we like to do in my home is to freeze blueberries um, and that way you just pop them in the freezer and when you're ready for a snack you can just reach out and, and grab them. Grapes are also another great item um, to freeze. I also like to prep my vegetables um, slicing up bell peppers and again just having them out on the table where we can quickly grab them and go. Awesome. So I, I you know, I tell you, I'm a victim to the frozen grape process as well at my home. <laughs> I have two daughters and every time I go to the freezers, there's, it's loaded with grapes. I do believe it's a, it's a great yeah. opportunity to, to, for us to really stay healthy <laughs> during this time of year. I have a special guest for the first time ever on the uh, Community Connections. We have a young man from Orange Park High School. He is involved in the culinary program, and I want to, uh, to introduce and allow uh, Elijah Rosario to come on up. Tonight, today, he's going to be able to, uh, to show us some of his holiday delights and uh, really talk to us about how culinary has really impacted his life in a positive way. So, Elijah, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? So, tell us, you know, first and foremost, well, hey, these look great. Te can you tell us, you know... Culinary has been a big part of, of, uh, of your life at Orange Park Senior High School. Can you talk about what this program means to you and how this, is, uh, this program has helped you uh, thrive and, and, and transition to your passion? Yes. Um, growing, like, when growing up, I always enjoyed cooking, and I took culinary for, and won another school, and it was, it was something to start off with. But then when I first got into Orange Park, it just blew up because I did – I had an amazing teacher, Chef Basquiat, who was just an amazing general teacher. And doing on Raider, um, Raider Restaurant was just an entire new experience on how the restaurant business works and how it is just to be in a, a waiter. And then also just learning how to set up the dining room into a beautiful display of um, how we want to re represent our school. Awesome. So that, you know, y Clay County's done a great job with having pathways for learners, and it sounds like culinary has really helped you uh, transition to opening your, your, you know, your, your, your blueprint for what you aspire to accomplish one day. You know, today you, you brought some, uh, some healthy delights and some holiday delights, I, would, I should say. Tell us what you have and, uh, you know, and why these may be some of your favorites. Um, yes, I brought one is, on, is a Grinch. Um, <laughs> it's a fruit soup compa with, with fruit, um, with uh, grape. Um, banana and strawberry. Awesome. You want to taste one? Anybody? Anybody want to grab one? Go ahead. Oh, we got to dig in. We got to dig fruit. in. Go fruit. ahead. There's fruit. For, for those of y'all who never see me eat, this is your first opportunity. <laughs> I never eat. Always too busy to work. They look great. Mm -hmm. The Grinch. Describe with the Grinch. This is the hat. Yep. There's the. And there the he is. <laughs> and so, also with me, um, I I had I grew up around family with small kids, and we love to mess with candy, you know, just kid stuff. And so another thing is a uh, rain. This is a reindeer pretzel treat. Huh. Help yourself. If you want to try one? Reindeer. Um, yeah, it's easy. It's literally you can get the kids together, have some fun, and it's something to pass the time, and they can just enjoy it. And then awesome. So you know, from from our perspective, and from your side, I, I should say, 
you know, uh, is there anything else that uh, you truly love during this time? What's your favorite holiday dish? My favorite holiday dish would be, um, I have to say, my mom's pork shoulder when she makes oh. it. <laughs> she makes really good po um, pork shoulder and other foods. And on holidays like that and also coming together and as a family because awesome. then you, just, you come home to a nice home, mm -hmm. you, you smell the food, and you come sit down and everyone just have a nice time. Too. Awesome. Any, so mom, you know, it sounds like mom has some great cooking <laughs> skills as well. <laughs> and it sounds yes. like, you know, that you transitioned. So you spent some time together in the, yeah. in the kitchen. I have, you know, I, you talk about that, you know, that pork shoulder you like. Is there any special recipes or ingredients you want to talk to us? Or is this just your mom's, <laughs> is it your mom's special uh, recipe she, that you don't want to share with us and the viewers? Um, she has a special recipe. Mom's here saying sad. no, don't share anything. <laughs> Sadly, so. I cannot share that, but <laughs> what I can share is that that um, everyone around in the family knows and wants her to make it a lot. And the fact that I, I got my cooking and my passion for cooking from her to begin with means a lot. So right. I, have to, I do have to thank her for that. Awesome. Well, Elijah, thank you for being here today. Thank you for bringing your, your holiday delights. They look great. Uh, they they look really you know uh, simple that any of the viewers can make, and it's a uh, you know a fun time for for your children and your family. Thank you for what you do in our classrooms, and continue to help us help you to create the best experience we can. Okay, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. We think we're going to keep his treats, but now we're going to transition. <laughs> um, thank you, Elijah. Now we're going to transition to to Aaron Payne. Aaron Payne is our wellness coordinator here in Clay County. Aaron, we talk about how the holidays are heavy on foods, heavy on snacks heavy on uh, desserts, how can we stay fit during this holiday time when it's so difficult to accomplish this? So I think the big thing we need to realize is the holidays are normally friends and family, so we're spending a lot of time with those people. Um, making sure that we're going outside and we're enjoying you know, our surroundings, um, whether that's playing an outdoor activity, it's taking a walk with our family, um, but the other side of it, other than that physical activity component, is making sure that we're still eating healthy. There's lots of yeah. treats. Hard to do during this time, right? Definitely. <laughs> um, making sure, you know, we're having lots of fruits and vegetables on our plate. But also, keep in mind, we don't have to have a big plate like this. We can have something on a smaller plate knowing we can go back for seconds. Right. Good points, good mm -hmm. points. So, you know, in Clay County, we have this uh, program called the R Rally Program. Mm -hmm. And it's an initiative that we are linked and partnered with United Health, uh, which is directly linked to our insurance. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about this program and what the benefits are to be in uh, a participant? Mm -hmm. So Rally Health is actually an online um, portal where all of our members have access to it. It's free of charge um, with their health insurance. And it's really developed to make sure that our employees are improving their health um, through certain actions. Um, so they can actually earn up to $200 every plan wow. year. So October 1 through September 30th, they have a full mm -hmm. year. Um, by completing just certain action steps. Um, we have the online health survey that takes them about 10 minutes to do, as well as uh, biometric screening. And we have 43 of them this year at wow. our schools. Wow, that's awesome. So $200 for those of you who are watching, who are uh, on our insurance plan, a great opportunity for you to put some cash in your pocket at the same time, create uh, you know, a healthy lifestyle. We talk about creating a healthy lifestyle during the holidays, and this is the time we start planning for New Year's resolutions, mm -hmm. and we get ready for that January 1 leap. And, uh, you know, I've always been taught, you know, implement your resolutions in December. It's an easier process that you transition in, in January. So I say me and my wife are, are, are really, we're, we're health advocates. And um, I would say that we probably go but we get to the gym five to six days a week. And when I go to the gym, the first six or eight weeks of the new year, it is really packed. <laughs> However, after that time frame, start, you start to see the newcomers kind of, you know, take a step back and not really make this a part of their life. How, what advice can you give uh, those who are, are seeking to become mentally and physically healthy, you know, any strategies they can continue to make this a part of their life and who they are? So I think the big thing is we have to remember that if we want to create wellness into a lifestyle, it takes time. It takes time. Okay. So if we're going to wait till January to start, we have to realize it's not going to be overnight. It's not going to take right. just a Good month. Point. Um, it's it's a duration of time we have to have those healthy habits um, and when we have those slips we have to be able to recognize them and identify them and get back on track right. so if we want to see a wellness if we say that um, as part of our lifestyle 
it's going to be developing healthy habits and keeping them even when there's other roadblocks that come in the way. Awesome. Great advice. And I think mm -hmm. that it just has to become systemic. Stay with it. Um, anything that we try new and it doesn't work, sometimes we want to walk away from it. But stay connected to this process and, and, and you, we will create a better you if you mm -hmm. can dedicate and have short-term and long-term goals connected with, with uh, being uh, mentally and physically fit. Exactly. Um, you know, from our side, we're really trying to always strive to have a healthier workforce within, within Clay County District Schools, being the largest employer with near, near 5,000 employees. Any, any particular activities that are, we are implementing from your perspective from wellness that we can just uh, apprise our viewers of what we're trying to accomplish? Yeah, so we're actually implementing quite a bit. Yeah. Um, we have our on-site group exercise classes that are available free of charge yeah. through our partnership with the YMCA. We have those at 10 of our locations right now. Um, we also have our new wellness passport program available to all employees. Um, they get an incentive for actually completing it as well wow. as they get entered into a grand prize raffle that changes every three months. Um, so we just started December's. Um, and then one of our other great programs that we're implementing are grocery store tours. Oh. We actually have a partnership with the UF Extension Office here in Green Cove um, to provide just that, grocery store tours with a registered dietitian. Wow. And those are free of charge as well to employees. Wow. Um, so That's all really the, cool. Yeah, all the rest <laughs> of our programs are also free of charge. Um, employees can find that on the employee portal under the employee benefits and wellness tile. Awesome. Well, thank you. So many things that we learn every single day. For those of y'all seeking the $200 incentives, also she has additional incentives, and then you can have a uh, grocery tour where someone can walk around and identify some of the healthy choices within, uh, within the grocery store in order to create a, a lifestyle of wellness. Thank you for watching the Community Connections today. You know, today is about family. Today is about friends. Today and these holidays are about opportunities to spend the time with those. We want to make certain that you make the right decisions and eliminate stressors. We want to make certain that wellness becomes a lifestyle and always take consideration and nutrition to our body, to our mind, and to our souls. Mm -hmm. Thank you again for, for being a part of our community. I'm Addison Davis, and have a great holiday. Mm -hmm.